Hi, everybody. This is Dave Priscilli with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health Vibrant Life, the podcasts. So this week's blog and podcast is this. You're being very hard on yourself. So <laughs> you're probably saying, I know I am. I'm being really hard on myself. Here's the thought behind all this. That we, without realizing it, spend so much of our time labeling and judging every aspect of our life experience. We label and judge ourselves. We label and judge our jobs, every aspect of our homes, our relationships, and we label and judge other people. And all of that label and judgment causes a deep sense of separation from who we truly are, which is that beingness that I'm constantly going to remind you of. You are a spiritual beingness, a godness, an isness, the consciousness of. And you are one with everything. So when you label something, when you judge something, you are saying that I am me, and that is something completely different from who I am. Now, in the physical realm, that's true. I'm me, and this is a light, and that's a camera, and this is a computer, and that's understandable in the physical dimension. But this physical world that we live in, including our bodies, right, is only a fraction of what we truly are, which is that beingness, which is not in any physical form, not even thought form. You are a beingness, a spirit with a mind that we think with and process with, and we reside in or live in a physical body that we manifest in and through to create a life experience, but you are not your life experience. Your life experience is what you experience through this life, but it is not you. So you cannot identify yourself as your life experience, or you should not. If you do, you're making it very challenging for yourself to be in a state of peace and joy and to create the health and the fitness and the well-being that you're truly wanting and desiring in this life. So what does all this really have to do with health and fitness and well-being? That state of joy, that state of peace, of mind, peace, beingness that you are creates a deep sense of health in the body and fitness and well-being. So we always talk about stress and we understand how stress affects the body. It causes a sympathetic response. It's a breakdown, catabolic mean eating, chewing, destroying, etc. And we know that stress leads to illness, disease, and death, especially when it's sustained over a long period or what we call chronic. And most people are in a chronic state of stress all the time. Finances, relationships, keeping the house, the job, the whole bit. Stress. And that stress is being triggered by this separation that we're causing in our life. So you're being so hard on yourself when you're doing this. So what we want you to start awakening to is that the more you can step back and stop judging, stop labeling, not only everybody else, not only your external life experience, but also not judging yourself or labeling yourself as good, bad, indifferent. The more you can let go of that judgment and labeling, the more at peace you'll be and your body will respond by creating a higher state of health and fitness and well-being for you. 
It's really that simple. And from that state of peace and well-being, everything else in your life will bring that into your life also. So health and fitness and well-being is, yes, about breathing diaphragmatically and deeply and making sure you're hydrated and making sure you're eating correctly and making sure you're exercising and making sure that you're exercise or excuse me, sleeping well. But that other component that we talk about is the perception or the mind, your thoughts, your beingness. Live in a state of peace and joy in everything that you do. And the way you do that is to stop labeling, to stop judging, and to stop attaching your happiness to the outcomes of your life. That if you make a certain amount of money, then you'll be happy. If you get a really wonderful person, husband or wife, to love you, then you'll be happy. If, you're, if you have a really nice car, then you'll be happy. That's all ego identification based stuff. It's okay to have that, but do not identify yourself as that because that is very fleeting, very, very fleeting. The only thing consistent is not death and taxes, by the way, <laughs> but is your beingness, which is eternal. Live from there and find that joy and peace in your life. So if you go to iTunes, you can subscribe to Holistic Health, Vibrant Life, the podcasts. And also, as I always ask, once you subscribe and listen to a podcast, please rate the podcast and review it for me. Just give a quick little review of anything else you might want to talk about or if you don't understand or if you want a deeper understanding of it so that I can continue having more subject matter for us to talk about. And anything else that you'd like to know you can go to our website, www.holistichealth-fitness.com, and you can read our blogs. You can connect with us through our six components to holistic health and fitness, advanced training. We can work privately as client coach. So there's so much that's available for you. So until then, this is Dave Frasilli with Holistic Health and Fitness and Holistic Health Vibrant Life, the podcasts, and I wish for all of you a vibrant life. Take care.